going on everyone this is flame leone 2300 here and today we have a very special unboxing to go over um if you guys have not seen in december's uh core core magazine um there was a special uh beyblade x layer that came in and that was phoenix feather and that is actually what we have here today we have the lovely phoenix feather right in this box here well not in this box because technically I have one out out of the box uh, right now. But this is what the box looks like as you guys can see. You can see Phoenix Feather right there. And there's also other context that come um, content that comes in there uh, too as well. Like I think you have like this Kirby sticker on the side which you know is really cool. You have like some uh, card for Dual Monster. Don't know anything about that. And some other like promotional stuff in the box too as well. Which is you know pretty cool stuff. And if you take a look at the back too as well. You guys can see. Uh, look very very nice got all these uh promotional stuff together, which is really really cool I do love how they do things like this However, you know just to get exclusive in a magazine is sometimes challenging to get but you know I did find somebody to help me out uh, getting these I actually managed to get six of these things so for a really good price So it's actually very good. I, I got this. I also did manage to put the uh, code in the uh, app already I actually do have that magazine part because they were kind enough to actually get me that magazine part that has the um, bay in. So as you guys can see, it's in this plastic right now. I have not taken it out whatsoever actually. So we're going to do that and I'm going to put it right back in because I don't want to ruin the uh, paper here. So, so you guys can see, right, this has the uh, Phoenix Feather here um, with it. And if we kind of take a look inside... Right, kind of talks about the bay as well as uh, Phoenix Wing, which I do have. I took it out the box already. I just never done a video about it yet, so sorry about that, guys. But we will get to that soon enough. Oh, okay. So it kind of does expand like that, I think. And then, or I think it's one side. Okay, this is like one side. It's on this side here. All right. So it's supposed to be looking something uh, like that, if you guys can see. Looks very, very cool on how it works. And yeah, you also have the character right there. Kind of looks like, you know, Phi. <laughs> or I wish it could be Phi, but you know, kind of or a little bit of resemblance there. And yeah. And then also, if we take a look further inside, we have the other Core Core release that's going to be coming out very soon, which I think a lot of us are very excited for. The Bay it looks absolutely amazing. It's just all the parts of uh, Team Persona's base together. So you have like Hell Scythe, you have the Ratchet from um, Night Shield, and then you have the bit from uh, Drawn Sword, which is really, really cool. I do like how they made that idea. And hopefully like the other guys like uh, Team Zuganic and like the rest of them could get something like this too as well. So really, really nice overall and then it just shows a little bit more on how phoenix wing uh performs and everything like that and how heavy it is which is absolutely insane and you also got this part here too as you guys can see it just shows like all the uh parts to get, uh all the monsters together which is really really nice and look oh look at that you got uh <laughs> the uh illustration art of um charizard ex from uh shining treasures which is really really cool and yes i know about that because i did open like nine boxes of shining treasures and did not pull one alt art as badly but uh yeah that's how everything is and if you guys have seen the code on the bottom don't worry i already claimed it so nobody can do that anyway but yeah right here which we have the bay or the layer right here this is phoenix feather as you guys can see, it looks very, very cool. I actually do like the design of this letter, uh, letter, uh, the layer. And it's supposed to be like uh, the pre-evolution of Phoenix Wing. Um, you know, but it looks really nice. Like, I do like the design of it. You can see, like, the little, like, feathers, I guess, or, like, I don't know what you call them. But it looks really, really cool. If we could take a comparison with uh, Phoenix Wing... And yes, I do have Phoenix Wing out the box. Just did, I've done a video. I wanted to do this first because it's like the evolution. All right. So if we take a look like side by side comparison, the uh, like the uh, edges and stuff kind of almost look the same. Like if you guys can see like right there, almost look the same. Uh, just about. Uh, I say this part here is a little bit more thicker. So that's something. Um, with it but yeah obviously um with this one though it is it does weigh a little bit heavier more heavier than um the layer here if we can take it even apart for one second right like definitely you can feel like phoenix wing has a bit bulkier this one's a little bit lighter i think because also of like you can see like the gaps in the middle there like how that works but uh yeah it feels really good a really good release uh sturdy all around but 
I've seen a couple of videos about Phoenix uh, Feather and attacks are actually pretty solid. Like, it's not that bad at all, which is really, really cool overall. Now, also, uh, with Phoenix Feather here, it's supposed to have the 360 and flat part. Now, um, you know, you can take it from, like, Drawn Sword and just put that together. But the real supposed, um, supposedly, uh, parts that you're supposed to put on is the Drawn Sword from the other special entry set. So, if you take these, um, this 360 and the flat, as you can see, it is red. So, it kind of goes with the Phoenix Wing here. Uh, all together and as you can see right here right this is what it's supposed to look like which obviously this looks way better when it has all red together um but yeah looks really really nice really really cool uh overall with this so uh in this video we're gonna have it use you know some test battles i won't be using this uh red uh 360 and the bit because obviously it is like a special edition kind. And I don't like ruining special edition bays. Even the wizard arrow that I have from that special entry, uh, entry set. Have not used it not once. It's just sitting in my uh, nice lovely case. The premium case we actually got by the way. Which I don't think I ever showed off. Um, I actually had the premium case here by the way. So you guys can see. Right I have all the nice lovely bays. The uh, rare bays obviously in uh, this bag here. And with the uh, launcher from Phoenix Wing. Uh, but yeah, so I have that there. I'm actually going to get, uh, you know, another 360 and flat to kind of put on a uh, Phoenix wing, uh, Phoenix feather, uh, you know, just to kind of use and show that off there. So yeah, let's get right into the battle. Guys, yeah, so we're going to get started with the testing with um, Phoenix feather here. Um, what I'm going to have it actually go against first is just probably bays that are just more stable uh, in the center. So it's easy just to kind of give the test and see how it works. And then we'll hopefully get to like the actual attack types uh, that we'll go with, hopefully. I don't know, because, you know, doing one person just ripping two bays, especially with attack types, is very hard. So we're going to actually have it go against uh, Wizard Arrow to start off. My boy Wizard Arrow right here. So, yeah, let's give it a shot and see um, how well does this bay actually do um, together here. All right, let's get it started. Okay, Wizard Arrow is going to go up first to stay in the center. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, a shot attack. Okay, okay. Not bad so far. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for, uh... Ooh, almost. Wait, actually? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I was about to say it was almost a burst. Okay, almost a burst right there. Interesting. Also, another thing, too, uh, which is very funny, that since I use this ball so many... This ball bit so many times, uh, in my tournaments and stuff, and just for play... I think it has turned in more to an aggressive ball. <laughs> so it's literally like a semi-flat, honestly, right now than anything, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, let's try it one more time, see how it works. Ready? Three, two, one. So that's why you see it going to the rail more than anything. Ooh, nice hit. Ooh, and what a knockout in the pocket. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right. So yeah, definitely Phoenix Feather can definitely have some hold on its own. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it one more time. One more time right there. Let uh Phoenix Feather cook, right? Make him cook. Make him cook. Alright, let's try it one more time. Alright, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Okay, stop. Uh, it bursted on its own. It didn't even do anything. It just bursted on its own. The moment it went down. Oh, of course. Sometimes I do be happening. I do be happening. Alright, let's uh, fix... Uh, <laughs> let's fix this man. That's how you know probably uh, Phoenix Feather has done some damage on uh, Wizard Arrow. It's the fact that man bursted the moment he got on the floor. Alright, let's try it again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on. See, this is what I gotta do. This is exactly what I gotta do. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh. I feel I'm like I'm feeling like the hits from uh Phoenix Fighter. It does it like, pretty hard. Oh my gosh. I get out of the pocket, please! <laughs> Look at this. See? This is what I gotta deal with. This is what I gotta deal with every time. 
So just know, making videos for you guys, not so easy. Not so easy at all. But hey, we're in for the fun of it, right? All right, let's try it one more time. Hopefully one more time. Alrighty, three, two, one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna get a bed that's a little bit more stable in the center. It won't just run off on its own and just hit itself. So let's get a uh, night shield this time. Let's do a night shield. Alright, let's see a defense versus attack type. Somebody who will actually stay in the center and not move. Oh man. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Alright, ready. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay, nice. Nice hit from uh, Night Shield. Actually intercepted and knocked it out, out of the pocket right there. Alright, pretty good. Heavy and bulky. It's crazy though. A lot of people, I don't feel like using Night Shield at all. Although a lot of people thought it was going to be good at the beginning and... Look where it is now. Not good at all. <laughs> Nobody even uses it for competitive. All right. Three, two, one. Not that I know of. Maybe I can be wrong. Ooh, ooh. Nice hit. Okay, okay. Knocking it down. All right, all right. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Okay, calm down. He had enough. He had enough. All right, good. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. So, nice shield. Definitely took a beating there. I can tell you that much. Let's do it again. Alrighty. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, knocked out the pocket. Yeah. Alright, no good. Drawing on. Nice show won that one. Alright, it's got another bay that kind of centers itself. Let's get Rhino Horn. Yay, we love Rhino Horn. Rhino oh, cool. Although it kind of sucks. I don't think it sucks because of its uh, weight error. I think it's the ratchet that makes it suck. I think it's a little bit too loose. It makes it burst. It's prone to burst really easily. That's what I think. I think with like any other ratchet, it does pretty good with. All right, let's try it. Ready? Three, two, one. Two. And okay, they, they both bursted. All right, what a collision! <laughs> oh my God, this man still winning. He's still spinning. He's still spinning. Look at that. Okay. Well, they both burst it there. That was very interesting. But yeah. Uh, right now I'm looking. Feather. Feather. Uh, Phoenix Feather does look pretty promising though. As a, even for a pre-evolution, which is interesting. Even for a pre-evolution, it's still pretty much hitting hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's really, really good with that. Okay. Let's try for the next round here again. Let's get these bays in place. Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, and. Oh, oh, I was hoping it was going to come out the corner. No good. I just did one little tap. I said, I'm gone. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about attack types. They're prone to go on their own at some point. I think just because the way I'm sitting at the stadium, it's, it is going to do that a lot. But if you're hitting from the side and then start doing that, I think it's going to be uh, much easier. Although I hope wish they do make a new stadium and stuff. Because I know a lot of people don't like this because the pockets are on this side. But hey, I think once we get the left side, the lefty bays and stuff, then it's going to really show that why that's, this is needed. I don't know. Time will tell. Alright, let's do this. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> Nice strong attack. Ooh, nice strong attack again. Oh, I think it already burst. I think. Oh, come on. There you go. And it is down for the count. Alright, that was a good, good attacks. Good attacks. Right there. Alright, let's do another bay this time. Oh, I'm trying to think and see. You know what? Let's have it go against Hell's Chain. Hell's Chain this time. Why not? Even though Hell's Chain's... Uh, you know, they kind of both work as attack, but a little bit more controlled. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Come on, bird, you gotta win a match somehow. Ready, three, two, one. Go. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Back and forth action, okay. 
I think. I want to say one of them bursted, but I'm not sure. And they both won the middle. Yeah, Felix Feller is not going to have a good time right here. Or maybe, I don't know. No, nope, it's not. It's going to lose him. All right, and there that goes. But that you saw how good of attacks those were right there. That was really good. Really good right there. Okay, none of them has bursted, though. All right, let's try it again. Take two. All right, ready. Three, two, one. And... Phoenix Feather is uh, done for. <laughs> or maybe not. Wait, uh, uh, almost, almost. I should have just pushed it up a little bit more. Alright, let's move on to another bay. Right, let's keep testing this. I also kind of pushed it down a little bit too much uh, on that one. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's another one? No, let's do Night Lance. How about Night Lance? I don't think a lot of people give Night Lance a lot of love. I do love this bay. I love it for the bit. The bit, I feel like, is really good. I love using um, High Needle with a lot of combinations. I think it does pretty well overall. Alright, let's give it another go. Three, two, one, go. And go. Ooh, that's that. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wow, sharp shooting right there. Nice. That was a very good attack from uh, Phoenix Thunder. Right there. You can tell that Phoenix Feather does have some capabilities that can really make it strong. It is pretty light compared to, obviously, uh, Phoenix Wing. But it does have some spike attacks that it can be really good with. And I think also just because of the hollow part there, like as you guys can see, like the hollow, I think it just makes the speed increase too as well. It makes it lighter. But if it does have that nice strong attack, it could do some damage. All right, let's do it again. Three, two, one, go. And go. Ooh, what a burst. Look at that. That was really cool. What a burst. It went shoo, shoo, in the middle right there. See? It has some good capabilities. Really good capabilities. All right. Okay, let's get one more bay. Uh, actually, no, let's do two more. Why not? Let's get uh, Leon Claw actually this time. We'll see how. We'll see how Leon Claw. We gotta give this man some love. Uh, I know, you know, <laughs> it's really not been the best, honestly. I think the I don't know if because of the aerodynamics of the probably the layer, it doesn't really do that well. I don't know. Although point, I do love using point. Point's really good if you just know how to use it. All right, let's give it a go. Let's try it. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> took that one nice that was actually pretty good stood in the middle right there okay let's uh, do it again okay yeah again i think like leon call could be good or i think just point is good i don't know about everything else not that great all right let's try it again ready three two one <laughs> Okay. Alright, they're going back and forth with each other. Holy cow. Oh, that might be for Phoenix Feather, though. Or, huh? It's a close one. Oh, no, never mind. Reversal, reversal. What a reversal right there. Okay. Nice. We'll do it one more time again. And then we'll move on to. I want to say Drone's Dagger. Or hopefully, try Drone's Dagger. But I think that's going to be overkill for Phoenix Feather. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Three, two, one. Both miss each other. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, what an attack. Okay, okay. It really did attack to Leon Claw. Yeah, I think Leon Claw's done. He's, all, he's not. He's over. He's over. All right, nice, nice. That was actually pretty solid on an attack right there. All right, let's do the last one. Leon Claw. Uh, um, you know, claw. Let's have John Zogger to go now. Trans Dagger should be a very interesting battle. Uh, I want to say more. John Dagger should win all these battles, but you know, we'll see. This time will tell. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot this fast. 
Three, two, one. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh no, of course. It did the I'm just gonna go with myself tactic. Do the job myself. Alright. Let's do it one more time, one more time. Okay, not that was not as epic as I thought was gonna happen there, but hopefully the next one is. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, go, 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 go. Ooh, okay. What an attack. What an attack. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I did it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was that was a strong attack for the first part there. All right, well, well I mean, that, there you got it right there with Phoenix Feather. I mean, again, it does have some good capabilities, I think. And I think when I actually have somebody else ripping against me and using Phoenix Feather, it could do some good damage. Like, it, it was doing attacks. And I think just, like, the way how, you know, it is, and just right here especially, uh, can have some really good properties on, like, attacks and stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, how, you know, Slayer's going to play out and work. I might use it for the next tournament. I don't know. That all depends if I have a good combination I'm going to work with it. Um, but, yeah, it should be really interesting and cool to see. Now, what I'm really interested about is definitely Phoenix uh, Wing, uh, how this man is. Because if you haven't seen the last Beyblade uh, Day Play video, uh, which is the tournament video, um, the person who won did use Phoenix uh, Phoenix Wing. I don't know how he got it again. He got it three days, literally, uh, after release. And he lives in America. This is American, by the way, not in Japan. So I don't even know how this man even got uh, this ahead of time. But, uh, yeah. You know, so it's really crazy to see how, um, you know, using both of them probably will work in the tournament. Or just this man right here, because this man is definitely heavy for sure. But, yeah, it was great to see uh, Phoenix uh, Feather, how it played out. And it does have some good capabilities, so I'm really impressed with it. Now, for the next video, stay tuned because we will be um, reviewing Phoenix uh, Wing here. Uh, now, I know it's literally been a month since it's released. <laughs> uh, again, sorry for not uh, pushing out the videos enough that fast. But, again, my room's been being done, literally, so I had nowhere to record. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just stuck doing videos. But, hey, we get to see, uh, you know, finally get to see this bad boy in action together, right? Or, you know, you guys already have seen it. I'm going to see it personally now in action this time. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy, everyone.